Okay, here we go. So we have uh, an angel food cake mix. Just a boxed cake mix. We have a can of crushed pineapple. If you want to use tidbits, you can do that. Whatever you have on hand, but I'm using crushed today. And a full container of Cool Whip. This happens to be no name, that's why it's yellow. This recipe is so easy, you don't even need a recipe. But I'll show you how I put it together. Lightly greased, a nine by 13 pan. I am using an aluminum pan because you know what? You can take this uh, for a potluck supper. You can take this to a neighbor that maybe is not feeling well and you don't have to worry about the container. But if you want to do it for your own home, just use a nine by 13 pan. And I have lightly greased it just lightly, hardly at all. So here we go. In my pan, my bowl, I'm going to put my angel food cake. And then into this, I'm going to put the whole can of pineapple crushed pineapple juice and all. I'm just going to mix all this. I have preheated my um, oven to 350. Now, you, I showed you the Cool Whip. This is going to go on top of my cool cake once it's baked. Just make sure that the cake mix is incorporated nicely into that pineapple. Now here in Ontario last night, we had a dumping of snow. Yep, two weeks ago we were in a heat wave. And today we have about five inches of snow. Yikes, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. This is Canada. People complain and moan and groan, but you know what? The snow is beautiful. And one good thing, the sun is shining. This is a wonderful dessert for Easter, spring. It's so simple. Three ingredients. So there we go. I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to bake it at 350 for about, I'm going to check it in a half an hour. My cake has been in the oven for, it took about 35 minutes to bake. I've cooled it completely. So now here comes are added ingredients. Now remember, this only had the angel food cake and a can of crushed pineapple with the juice. That's it. So really two ingredients. But my third ingredient is going to be Cool Whip. Now, this dessert is so easy that you could make this ahead of time. That's the kind of desserts I love, especially at Easter or potlucks. Or... 
so that you can make it ahead of time so you can do other things. Get ready for a party you might be having. So I'm going to spread this right evenly. You don't even have to do this. If you were just going to serve this, you could have a can of uh, whipped cream or you could whip your own whipped cream. It's it's so versatile. But you know what? A great uh, things to have in your pantry, like a can of crushed pineapple and cake mixes when they go on sale. And it just makes for an easy dessert. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate it with some added ingredients. You don't have to do this, but I'm just showing you that you can do anything. You, I've got some strawberries. So I'll just add your strawberries whatever way you want looks pretty doesn't it you could slice them I've just half them okay all right the next layer, if you want. Kids, they love sprinkles. So why not give them the sprinkles? Every one of my grandkids loves sprinkles. Adults too, but they don't want to admit it. Okay, that. I'm just showing you things that I've done that are easy. If you've got a jar of jam in your fridge, so what I would do is just warm it slightly because it becomes, it's not as hard to spread. So what I'm going to do is just spread the jam on top as much or as little as you want and then I'm going to take my knife and just look at doesn't that just swirl I'm just swirling it into the cool whip now, is this not easy or what? Things do not have to be difficult. We complicate things so much, but things can be simple. So there we go for any party. Okay, so let's cut into it. I'm going to cut into the jam one. Okay, here we are. And it's a good, um, it, it's quite high, it's moist. I'm gonna get a little bit of the Cool Whip. Pretty good. The jam, uh, the strawberry jam, or you could do blueberry jam. I mean, after all, it's spring, everybody. So think something, you could eat, I guess you could even do a butterscotch sauce, but I kind of like for spring to have the, the fruitiness of it. I'm gonna do one more. Super delicious. So give it a, a try. 
like I said, doesn't have to be complicated. Be kind to yourself. We're in a world of stress, overwhelm us with everything. And yet we can do something for somebody else to brighten their day. I hope you have a wonderful, godly day. And uh, remember, there is somebody loves you more than anyone else. And our God in heaven, wow. Just call on him and he will do amazing things in your life. So have a great day. God bless.